What's up guys? Grim here. I'm breaking out a little bit of the older footage once again. There's so many good videos from the past that I never ended up posting so I figured I'd break some of them out and show you guys a little bit of the older gameplay that I used to do which is still fun to watch in my opinion. This here is an older Inquisitor build that I was running and I noticed that I was switching things around right before the match happened. So that is usually going to be a catastrophe once you get going and realize that your macros are all wrong and all of a sudden you're not killing anybody and you're getting killed. But of course if I save a Warfront it's going to be me dominating and that's just the way it goes. If I end up losing it all, I'm I'm not going to record that crap. I'm going to delete it and wish it never happened. And luckily, those occurrences don't happen that often. I, I'm usually the one killing people quite often, but it doesn't always go that way. You know, we get in war fronts where we don't have enough healers or whatever else is going on, and... It's usually not my gameplay that ends up killing us, but, you know, there, there's just no way that you can go against some of the odds sometimes. And no matter how good of a player you are, that's the way that it is. Only way you can really counter that is if you come in with a, free, a full pre-made, uh, full of really good players as well. You make sure that you have at least one or two healers. So that you don't have to worry about that situation once you come in and maybe come in with a dom or something and you're really covering all your bases so that you can come in and make sure that you have the best chance for success. Me, I come in usually by myself and it's sometimes I bring friends with me. Uh, usually it's not full groups and if it is a full group it is not uh, like handpicked so to say it's basically me going in guild chat and going hey anybody want to do a warfront and i'll get four dps queue up with me and i'm like oh boy we're crippling our team because if you go in with four dps it basically means that you're taking up most of your team as soon as you first enter with uh dps and no healers so the chance of you getting healers after that is a little bit slim and you're crippling your own team by doing that but that's how I was doing it I was just like anybody can join but now whenever I ask for warfront groups I'm usually saying hey is there a healer on I want one healer before I form up and if I get a healer then I'll throw whatever else in so it's not really the same type of groups as a lot of these other pre-mates uh, run. They're usually really well coordinated and making sure that they got the right specs to cover the right bases. But that's not how I roll. But, you know, you guys are watching my gameplay anyway. And uh, uh, hopefully I can always own it up even if I'm not coming in with the right compositions. But... A lot of these older videos are really cool to watch for me because I, I see how I used to do stuff and I see where there's a lot of flaws and all that. Um, like the Chloromancer build I just posted shortly ago, that was an older video. And um, right off the bat I see it in the comments, people are going, you're playing Chloromancer all wrong, man. And I'm going, yeah, I know. No, I don't play Chloromancer now, so it isn't like it'd be much better. But it was even worse before because I really didn't know what I was doing too much back then, you know. But I was making it work, and in my usual form, I do a lot of research beforehand. But it doesn't always pan out the way that you think it's going to, even after you watch guides or um, read guides or even get advice from friends and all that. It never seems to pan out the right way. So, I think the, the Warfront match ended up being pretty good in that Chloromancer video, and that's why I ended up posting it like I did. But, this Inquisitor video right here, it's kind of hard to go wrong on Inquisitor. Inquisitor is just so strong, and uh, it's such an easy build to stay alive with. As you can see, this guy is getting on me, but... I have absolutely no worries whatsoever. I'm going to dot him up. I'm going to spam some damage at him. He's he's 
doing nothing but killing himself going after me. And that's just how Inquisitor is. If you ever want an easy class to play, it's Inquisitor. Because it's so hard to kill an Inquisitor and they can dot everybody up, they can kite around, they can actually stand in somebody's face and burst them down. It's They've got a lot of things going for them. They've got tons of CCs. They've got so much good stuff going for them. So Inquisitor is probably the easiest build I've ever played. Uh, and a lot of people go, Warlord, you know, you're playing a Warlord. You play the easiest stuff possible and all that. But that's not the truth. Warlord is actually quite difficult if you're not able to face roll everybody. Um, yeah, if you... Uh, if you're able to just rush your enemies at all times and just maul them down, yeah, a warlord can be easy. But if that's not the case and you've got to bob and weave out of the damage because you're in the front lines, you're getting hit by everybody. Um, and also, if you're not playing like what you, uh, a build that you're throwing all of your macros into, all of your abilities into just a couple of macros, then you're actually going for uh, a better performance. Uh, <laughs> I just seen in the chat there, Darnos at Fablight says, It's Grim! <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, man. Uh, oh, right there, look. Uh, and I'm looking down at the chat right there and it said, Could not cast unknown ability Dark Passage. See, that's what happens whenever you mess with macros and stuff right before match starts. But Warlord can be a lot more difficult to play if you're playing it right. And it's the case with all builds almost. Uh, people do throw everything into uh, like one or two macros in a Warlord build sometimes, but they're not nearly as effective. Yeah, uh, if you watch like a Noobzilla video, you know, it's really fun watching his videos because he just, he kills everybody and it's fun to watch. But the thing is, is that uh, he openly brags about running like one or, I mean, a couple of uh, macros in some of his videos. He's like, I'm running a Warlord build with three macros. It's like, oh my gosh. Well, he still kills everybody. So, if it works, it works, I guess. But there's better ways to play it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as usual, my name is Grim. I'll see you next time.